What if we told you that the modern Hungarian people, a proud nation in the heart of Europe, carry ancient genetic roots that reach far beyond the Carpathian Basin, from Central Asia to Siberia, and from the steppes of Eurasia to the heart of medieval Europe, the true story of Hungary's origins is far more complex than most imagine. Hungarians speak Magyar, a language unlike any of their neighbors, a linguistic island in a sea of Slavic and Germanic tongues. For centuries, this unique identity led scholars to wonder, where did the Hungarians really come from? Were they steppe warriors, descendants of Attila the Hun, or something even more surprising? Recent breakthroughs in genetic research are now helping answer these questions. Scientists have analyzed ancient DNA from burial sites, skeletal remains, and modern populations across Hungary and surrounding regions. The results? A fascinating blend of Uralic, Finno Ugric, Turkic, Slavic, and Central Asian ancestry, with unexpected connections to Siberian tribes, nomadic steppe cultures, and even Indo European farmers. The iconic image of Magyar horsemen riding into the Carpathian Basin in the 9th century is only one chapter in a much deeper story, one that involves migration, conquest, assimilation, and survival. Genetics reveals not just one origin, but many layers of ancestry that challenge long-held beliefs about Hungarian ethnogenesis. In this video, we'll break down the latest genetic findings, trace the historical journey of the Hungarian people, and explore how ancient bloodlines continue to shape modern identity. Whether you're Hungarian, a history enthusiast, or just curious about Europe's hidden past, this is a story you won't want to miss. So, who are the Hungarians, really? Let's dive into the DNA and uncover the truth behind the Magyar legacy. To understand where the Hungarian people came from, we need to go back, way back, to the vast forests and tundras of northern Eurasia. Modern Hungarians speak a Uralic language, a linguistic family that includes Finnish, Estonian, and several languages spoken across Siberia. This suggests deep ancestral links with finno ugric peoples, a connection that has long puzzled both linguists and historians. So what does the DNA say? Recent genetic studies have confirmed that ancient Uralic-speaking populations left a clear imprint on Hungarian genomes. Specifically, Hungarians share distant genetic markers with populations in western Siberia and the Ural Mountains, particularly those associated with the Mansi and Kani people. These communities are thought to be close linguistic and genetic cousins to the early Magyars, the ancestors of modern Hungarians. However, the genetic legacy of Uralic speakers in today's Hungarians is relatively modest, usually estimated at 5 to 15 percent of the total gene pool. That's because the Magyar tribes that entered the Carpathian Basin in the 9th century were a culturally and linguistically Uralic elite, but genetically diverse. Over time, they absorbed the DNA of the peoples they encountered, Slavs, Avars, Turkic tribes, and later Germanic and Latin-speaking Europeans. Still, the Uralic core of the Hungarian language and identity remains undeniable. Linguistic evidence shows a long period of development on the Central Eurasian steppe, likely in contact with Iranian and Turkic nomads, which added many loanwords and cultural traits. So while modern Hungarians are not genetically identical to ancient Uralic peoples, they carry a linguistic and partial genetic heritage from that ancient world. Their story is one of migration and transformation of a small group moving westward, bringing with them a unique language and forging a new identity in the heart of Europe. And this is just the beginning. Let's now follow the Magyars into Europe, where their genes and their fate would be reshaped forever. In the late 9th century, a group of nomadic tribes thundered westward across the Eurasian steppe. These were the Magyars, fierce horseback warriors who would settle in the Carpathian Basin, laying the foundation for modern Hungary. But who were they, and what kind of genetic legacy did they bring? Archaeological and historical evidence places the Magyars near the Ural Mountains before they moved west. Their material culture reflects a steppe nomadic lifestyle, similar to that of other horseback peoples like the Turks and Scythians. When geneticists analyzed remains from 10th century Magyar burials, they found something remarkable. These early Hungarians carried a diverse mix of ancestry, including Eastern Eurasian, steppe, and European components. The Eastern Eurasian markers, common in Central Asian and Siberian populations, are especially intriguing. They suggest that the Magyars, before entering Europe, had mixed extensively with peoples of Turkic and Ugric origin, 
This points to long-term contact and possibly alliances or intermarriage with steppe tribes like the Kipchaks, Pecheneg, and other Turkic groups. Yet, as the Magyar settled in the Carpathian Basin, their genetic makeup quickly began to shift. Intermarriage with local Slavic, Germanic, and Romanized populations diluted the original steppe ancestry, modern Hungarians. In fact, retain only a small percentage, often less than 10% of that early steppe genetic signature. Still, the cultural memory of the steppe remains strong. The Hungarian language, horseback traditions, and national myths all point back to this era. Genetic evidence supports the story of a nomadic elite integrating into a European population while preserving distinct traditions. In short, the Magyars were not a single ethnicity, but a fusion of steppe cultures, and their arrival in Europe marked the beginning of a profound transformation. After the initial Magyar conquest, the newly formed Kingdom of Hungary underwent a major transformation, culturally, politically, and genetically. While the early Magyars arrived as a dominant mobile force, their integration into the broader European world would reshape both their identity and DNA. By the 11th century, Hungary had become a Christian kingdom, joining the Latin West under King Stephen I. With this shift came growing contact and intermarriage with a wide array of neighboring peoples. Slavic, Germanic, and Romance-speaking populations live within the kingdom's borders, and migration from Western Europe brought in Italians, French, and Germans, especially during periods of colonization and urban development. Medieval DNA from graves in the Carpathian Basin reflects this rich blend. Geneticists have found that by the 12th to 14th centuries, the population had become much more homogeneous and European-like compared to the earlier Magyar elite. The Eastern Eurasian markers seen in 10th century graves sharply declined, replaced by dominant Central and Eastern European genetic signatures. The Hungarian nobility often intermarried with royal families across Europe. Nobles of German, Czech, and Polish origin held powerful positions, further mixing the gene pool. Meanwhile, rural areas saw a continued blending between Magyar settlers and local Slavs and blocks. Importantly, genetic diversity in medieval Hungary was not limited to Europe. The region's role as a crossroads of East and West brought traders, soldiers, and migrants from as far as the Middle East and Asia Minor, leaving subtle traces in the genetic record. By the end of the medieval period, Hungary had become a true genetic mosaic, a population shaped not by one origin, but by layers of migration, conquest, and integration. This blending helped set the foundation for the modern Hungarian identity, proudly unique, yet unmistakably European. The 16th and 17th centuries were a turning point in Hungarian history, marked by the collapse of medieval Hungary and the rise of two powerful empires that would leave long-lasting cultural and genetic marks, the Ottoman Empire and the Habsburg Monarchy. After the devastating Battle of Mohacs in 1526, much of Hungary fell under Ottoman rule, while the remaining western and northern regions came under Habsburg-Austrian control. For nearly 150 years, the central part of the country was governed by the Turks, bringing new peoples, customs, and even genes into the population. During this time, Muslims from the Balkans, Anatolia, and the Middle East settled in Hungary, either temporarily as soldiers or permanently as administrators, merchants, and settlers. Though their genetic contribution was modest overall, traces of Middle Eastern and Balkan ancestry can still be detected in some Hungarian genomes today, especially in the southern regions. Meanwhile, the Habsburgs encouraged migration into depopulated Hungarian territories, especially after the Turks were pushed out in the late 17th century. Settlers included Germans, Danube Swabians, Slovaks, Serbs, Croats, and Romanians, further adding to the ethnic and genetic mosaic. The Habsburg influence also brought changes in architecture, religion, governance, and marriage patterns that mix Hungarians with other Central European groups. This dual imperial legacy introduced layers of cultural and genetic diversity into Hungary. While the Ottoman presence faded more quickly after the withdrawal, the Habsburg impact remained for centuries, shaping not just Hungary's political destiny, but also its demographic makeup. In short, Hungary's population today carries subtle markers of centuries of imperial rule, migration, and resilience, a genetic quilt that reflects both struggle and survival. For many Hungarians, national identity has long been rooted in the idea of a proud, 
ancient people with a unique language and heroic origin story. Yet, modern genetics tells a more nuanced and surprisingly inclusive story, one that may challenge traditional notions while offering a deeper sense of connection to the broader human experience. Today, genetic studies reveal that while Hungarians do carry a distinct thread of Uralic ancestry, reflecting their linguistic ties to the Finnoigrid family, this is only a small part of their overall DNA. The majority of Hungarian genetic material aligns closely with other Central and Eastern European populations, showing shared roots with Slavs, Germans, and Balkans. There are also smaller contributions from Asian steppe peoples, likely a remnant of the Magyar migration, and trace influences from Middle Eastern and Turkic groups, reflecting centuries of Ottoman presence and earlier Eurasian contact. Rather than undermining a unique identity, this diverse genetic legacy reinforces the idea that being Hungarian means belonging to a rich and multilayer heritage. It reflects a history of migrations, empires, resistance, and adaptation. The Hungarian language remains a unique marker, one that connects modern Hungarians to a distant eastern past. But the people themselves are a mosaic formed by Europe's crossroads. For younger generations and scholars, these genetic revelations are not a threat, but an opportunity to embrace a more inclusive, evidence-based national story, one that honors heroic myths but also recognizes the complexity and openness that shaped Hungarian identity. In a time when nationalism often relies on narrow definitions of belonging, the science reminds us that Hungarians, like all people, are the product of many journeys, not just one, and perhaps that, more than any myth, is something to be proud of. The idea that modern Hungarians are descended from the fearsome Huns of Attila has long captivated the national imagination. While this connection is culturally and symbolically important, genetics tells a more cautious and intriguing story. The Huns, who swept into Europe from Central Asia in the 4th and 5th centuries, left a major cultural mark on the Carpathian Basin. However, recent genetic studies suggest that their direct genetic legacy in modern Hungarians is limited. The Huns were a small warrior elite who ruled over a much larger and ethnically diverse population. While their presence may have introduced some Central Asian or East Eurasian genetic markers, these are rare and diluted today. A more significant genetic footprint comes from the Avars, another nomadic group from the Eurasian steppe, who established a powerful cagonate in the region during the 6th to 9th centuries. Ancient DNA from Avar burial sites has shown a mix of East Asian and European ancestry, suggesting intermarriage and integration with local populations. Some of these genes do persist in modern Hungarians, especially markers tied to Central Asian origins, but again, they represent a minor component in the overall gene pool. Rather than serving as dominant ancestors, the Huns and Avars were part of a longer pattern of steppe influence in Central Europe. Their cultural and political presence paved the way for the later arrival of the Magyars, who would go on to form the Hungarian state. Today, the genetic echoes of these early nomadic peoples remind us of the cosmopolitan and ever-changing nature of the Carpathian Basin. Far from being a static homeland, it has been a crossroads of civilizations, where East met West and nomadic traditions collided and blended with settled agricultural societies. These ancient layers contribute to the rich complexity of Hungarian identity, both genetically and culturally. Modern genetic research has opened up a detailed and sometimes surprising view of Hungarian ancestry. Thanks to large-scale DNA sequencing projects and ancient genome studies, scientists can now map the genetic history of the Carpathian Basin with greater precision than ever before. One of the key revelations is that modern Hungarians are genetically much closer to their Central European neighbors, such as Slovaks, Austrians, and Croatians, than to the finno ugric peoples of the Ural Mountains or the Turkic-speaking populations of Central Asia. This suggests that while the Hungarian language preserves a distant Uralic heritage, the population itself has been heavily shaped by centuries of local intermixing. Genetic markers show a complex blend of Slavic, Germanic, and Balkan influences, with only a small percentage of the population carrying markers linked to the original Magyar tribes that arrived in the 9th century. Interestingly, some Y-chromosome lineages and mitochondrial DNA do hint at Central Asian ancestry, but these are often less than 5% of the total genetic makeup. Another surprise has been the limited genetic contribution from the Huns and Avars, groups long romanticized in Hungarian national history. While traces remain... 
they are statistically minor. Perhaps the most striking conclusion from modern DNA research is this. Hungarian identity is not rooted in a single origin, but is instead the result of thousands of years of migrations, conquests, and cultural fusion. Rather than diminishing Hungarian heritage, these findings enrich it, revealing a deep, interconnected history that ties Hungarians to a broad swath of European and Eurasian peoples. Today, the genetic story of Hungarians reflects a rich tapestry woven from many peoples and cultures. While the Magyar tribes introduced the Hungarian language and certain customs over a thousand years ago, modern DNA shows the Hungarians are a diverse mix of Central European, Slavic, Balkan, and some Central Asian ancestries. This complex heritage challenges narrow ideas of ethnicity based purely on ancient origins. Being Hungarian now is less about a single ancestral bloodline and more about shared language, culture, and history. The Hungarian language remains a vital link to the past, connecting people to their unique finno ugric roots despite genetic blending. Traditional customs, folk music, cuisine, and national celebrations also help preserve a distinct Hungarian identity. Moreover, Hungary's location at the crossroads of Europe means it has always been a melting pot shaped by migration and exchange. This diversity is a strength, allowing Hungarians to adapt and thrive through shifting borders, empires, and political upheavals. Modern genetic insights invite Hungarians to embrace a broader understanding of identity, one that includes multiple peoples and stories rather than a singular, pure lineage. It also encourages appreciation for the shared heritage that links Hungarians to their neighbors and beyond. In a globalized world, this inclusive view fosters openness and connection. Hungarians today celebrate their heritage as both uniquely their own and part of the wider European mosaic, a living legacy of centuries of history and human movement.